हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू वन मोर लेजर एपिसोड लेजर्स आर एवरीवेयर अराउंड अस सर्जन्स यूज देम फॉर आई सर्जरी एंड कैंसर ट्रीटमेंट्स मैन्युफैक्चरर्स यूज देम फॉर मेटेरियल प्रोसेसिंग टू कट मार्क वेल्ड क्लीन एंड टेक्सचर वेरियस टाइप ऑफ मटेरियल्स सम पीपल नीड देम फॉर टैटू और हेयर रिमूवल एंड एवरीवन हैज सीन लेजर लाइट शोज ड्यूरिंग म्यूजिक कॉन्सर्ट मोर रिसेंटली न्यू एप्लीकेशंस लाइक लेजर होलोग्राफी आर इमर्जिंग different type of lasers are needed for these application based on their gain medium laser are classified into three main types one is gas laser second is solid state laser and third is liquid laser which is called dye laser additionally these three type of lasers can be divided into sub categories based on their mode of operations like continuous wave lasers and pulse lasers so the first biggest question is what is a laser a laser is a device that generates light in the form of laser beam a laser beam is a different from a light beam in that its rays are monochromatic or a single colored beam and it is also coherent or you can say same frequency and waveform generated by a laser and collimated beam going in the same direction laser provide this perfect information which is ideal for application that required high precision So our first type of laser is gas lasers. A gas laser is a laser in which an electric current is discharged through a gas inside the laser medium to produce laser light. In gas laser the laser medium is in gaseous state. Gas lasers are used in application that require laser light with very high beam quality and long coherent lengths. In gas laser the laser medium or gain medium is made up of mixture of gases the mixture is packed up into a glass tube the glass tube filled with mixture of gases act as a active medium or a laser medium a gas laser is the first laser that works on the principle of converting electrical energy into light energy it produces a light laser beam in infrared region of a spectrum at 1.15 micrometer gas lasers are of different type they are helium neon lasers argon ion lasers carbon dioxide lasers carbon monoxide lasers zimmer's laser nitrogen lasers hydrogen laser etc the types of gas used to construct the laser medium can determine the laser's wavelength and efficiency talking about the applications of gas lasers co2 laser is used for processing the non metals like cutting and engraving of mdf acrylic wood laminate glass etc helium neon laser is mainly used for making holograms helium neon laser is also used for reading barcodes which are imprinted on the product in stores nitrogen lasers and zimmer lasers are used in pulse dye laser pumping Now come to our second laser and that is solid state laser. A solid state laser is a laser that uses solid as a laser medium. In these lasers glass or crystalline material are used. Ions are introduced as impurities into host material which can be glass or crystalline. The process of adding impurities to the substance is called doping. Rare earth elements such as cerium, erbium Tribium and ytterbium are most commonly used as dopants. Materials such as sapphire, Al2O3, neodymium doped ytterbium aluminium granite and diag, neodymium doped glass and di glass and ytterbium doped glass are used as host materials for laser medium. Out of these, neodymium doped ytterbium aluminium granite which is known as di diag is the most commonly used. The first solid state laser was a ruby laser it is still used in some application in the laser a ruby crystal is used as a laser medium in solid state laser light energy is used as a pumping source light sources such as flash tube flash lamp arc lamps or laser diodes are used to achieve pumping a fiber laser is also a special type of solid state laser In fiber lasers the gain medium is an optical fiber silica glass mixed with a rare earth element which is called ytterbium Fiber lasers are used in the manufacturing industries for cutting welding and engraving the metals 
and the number three on our list is liquid laser which is also known as dye laser a dye laser is a laser that uses an organic dye as a laser medium usually as a liquid solution compared to gases and more solid state lasing medium a dye can usually be used for a much wider range of wavelength often spanning 50 to 100 nanometers or more the wide bandwidth make them practically suitable for tunable lasers and pulsed laser. The dye Rhodamine 6G for example can be tuned from 635 nanometer to 560 nanometer and produces pulses as short as 16 femtoseconds. Moreover, the dye can be replaced by another type in order to generate an even broader range of wavelengths with the same laser from the near infrared to the near ultraviolet. Although this usually requires replacing other optical components in the laser as well, such as dielectric mirrors or pump lasers. Talking about the applications of liquid laser or dye lasers, dye lasers are used in many applications including astronomy, manufacturing, medicine, spectroscopy. In laser medicine, these lasers are applied in several areas including dermatology, where they are used to make skin tone more even. The wide range of wavelength possibly allow very close matching to the absorption lines of certain tissue such as melanin or hemoglobin, while the narrow bandwidth obtains help reduce the possibility of damage to the surrounding tissue. Liquid lasers is mostly used for skin and tumor body treatments. So guys, these are the three main types of laser available in our current world. There are too many different subcategories in each laser segment which we are going to cover in our upcoming videos. I hope you are going to like this video and if you are new here please subscribe our YouTube channel for more regular technology related updates and I will see you soon in our next video till then bye bye take care signing off Vic Chaudhary.